Well, it's the first day of spring, and a couple of days ago, I challenged you to take a walk around your block and see if you could find any plants blooming. And boy, did you. Here's some of what you found. Randall sent in a picture of this lemon tree blooming. She keeps the tree in a pot so she can bring it inside for the cold winter months. Betty found all these beautiful blooms. She also got a picture of a pollinator in action. See it? It's an ant. Suzanne found an apple tree blooming on her street, and Jaden and Katerina found tons of plants blooming in Florida. And Daniel found all of these. Finally, Leah spied these little yellow flowers while out on a hike with her mom. Now let's take a closer look at one of the flowers Daniel found to see if we can identify the reproductive parts. Look, here are the stamen. There's a lot of them. And on the end of each stamen is an anther. Did you remember that the anther is where the pollen can be found? And here is the pistil. Each flower will have only one of these. Remember that for a flower to be fertilized, a pollinator such as a bee, or the ant we saw in Betty's picture, must carry some of the pollen from the anther to the tip of the pistil. Once that happens, the pollen sends a tiny tube down to the ovary deep in the heart of the flower, and the flower begins to make seeds. Next time, we'll take a closer look at seeds and how they grow. See you then!